Hey everyone, um, today I want to go over sunken ships. I've been getting a lot of questions where to find them, how to do them, and what are they all about. So, I want to go over that today. Alright, so first thing, where do they spawn? They spawn in um, the Arcadian Sea, and they spawn somewhere about here, uh, within this border. Alright, you can find them on a regular telescope, and it's going to look like this. Uh, you're going to see broken lifeboat, broken lifeboat, broken lifeboat. All of these are indicators of where sunken ship's at. Alright, so next thing you do is you just swim down. And I have a set of swim gear on for this specifically. I do recommend it. Uh, swim fins. I got a swim speed earring from Sea of Drown Love. I even have a dive helmet as well. So I swim down. And what I'm looking for is a patch of bubbles. And you can see it right here. Alright, so here's the patch of bubbles that I'm looking for. And they're in uh, a vicinity of the Broken Light Boat itself. Alright, so once I get to here, I pull out my submarine. And the things you will need to do a sunken ship, you're going to need 10 recovery pouches. You're going to need a submarine. You're also going to need a sonar and then a merchant ship. You don't have to have a merchant ship, you could actually do this on a clipper or a galleon if you wanted to, but it is a lot faster to actually use a merchant ship. Alright, so now I have to equip the sonar and have to use the first ability. And it pulls the sunk ship out, of, out um, from underneath the ground. Alright, so I'm going to go back and equipped my air cannon and I can blast this three times um, to like uh, bring it farther out alright there's one All right, there's two and here is three Alright, so the next thing that I do is I equip my Dawn's Drop chest piece here, which allows me to raise the sunken ship faster. And I go over here to the, like basically where the lines cross makes the X. And <clears throat> right now I'm applying recovery pouches, and I need a total of 10 recovery pouches to do this. Alright, and here we go, we're applying our last one. And then it's going to change an option to allow us to cut the rope. Alright, so now we go and cut the rope. Alright, and we're starting to raise the sunken ship. And in just a second here, we will see... Um, all the packs. So there are two different types of packs. So you got your basic packs here, and then you have shiny packs as well. And it looks like we only got one shiny. It's gonna be on the front there. And you can only open the shiny pack whenever you have 100k exploration proficiency. So I'm gonna go ahead and break all these. And this is the most labor-intensive part of the entire sunken ship. Alright, so once you have the sunk ship raised, uh, just go ahead and take all the packs off and start loading your boat. Uh, it's easiest to load them from the water here. Uh, you can just quickly load it like this. And then go right back and forth, doing it all over again. You can even swim underneath your boat, get on the other side. Alright, so once your boat is loaded, you have to turn these packs in, in at Diamond Shores. Uh, growl Gate. Free ditch. 
or two crowns or even Austera right there that is the only place you can turn these packs in at also um, the Sunga chip it cost me about 1440 labor to raise it and do everything with it and that's with 30% uh, reduction right here on the labor cost and this boat will get um, the, the boat averages around 300 gold although this boat um, will probably be about 330 340 gold maybe uh, I have my um, I have my money completely emptied out so we can see exactly how much this boat is worth Also, there's a total of 16 packs. That's including the shiny packs. Um, and so I have my boat set up exactly for that amount. Um, I have 14 packs here, and then one pack on my back, and one pack on my alt's back. That way, it's the fastest my boat can get without having all the extra cargo weighing, weighing it down. Alright, now the fastest way I've learned to unload the boat is I will go ahead and take off both sails right here. And I equipped a harpoon on the right side. Then grab the harpoon and shoot it at the new the statue's hand right here. No target selected. Alright, so your harpoon has got to be uh, at least epic for it to do this. Alright, so get your boat snug against the uh, wall and then pull it up. Alright, once we have a good angle. Alright, then we'll set it back down. Alright, and then uh, after after we get it on here, we can go ahead and take the harpoon off so it doesn't get in the way. And then bam, just turn in all the packs. Alright, so once I have my last pack, I can go ahead and desummon the boat. And I can go turn it in. And we got a total of 323 gold from this one boat.